Inside your package, of course, you'll find your minutes from your work session on November the 10th and your regular session on November the 11th. Please, between between now and uh, tomorrow evening's meeting, take a look at those minutes if you have not already done so. And if there's any additions, deletions, or corrections, uh, please give them Miss Duke so that we can have that taken care of tomorrow night's meeting. Um, first thing on the agenda, of course, we've got performance, but uh, we've got one presentation that uh, was under the, that you'll find under the county manager, manager's report. Uh, we have a presentation by Mr. Steve Edwards with advanced disposal. Steve here. Steve, please come forward with the presentation. Uh, appreciate it. Um, Chair, mentioned my name is Steve Edwards. I'm with advanced disposal. And uh, our corporate headquarters are located in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, we've got about 100 employees here in the uh, Lowndes County, Valdosta area, South Florida region. We operate a hauling company, a garbage hauling company. We also own and operate Evergreen Landfill. And we provide a pretty good significant impact in the South Florida area. And just wanted to give the commission kind of an update and a request that has come about in the past 22 months since we started the contract. Um, just reading through the handout that I submitted to you, this is a uh, request to Lowndes County Chairman and Commissioners. Uh, we'd like to work together with y'all to amend the Solid Waste Franchise Agreement due to lost revenue and increased costs as a result of unanticipated changes in the past 22 months. Just looking back at the history, uh, the county put out an RFP for solid waste services. It was due September 13, 2012. The county negotiated and ultimately selected Beaulieu Environmental Services, who had the lowest and most response, uh, responsive offer. And Advanced Disposal purchased Beaulieu Environmental Services on November 1, 2012. So uh, with that, we honored Beaulieu's rate and we implemented the franchise agreement effective February 1, 2013. The reason for the request is, the rever is to try to reverse some negative impacts on our business from lost revenue and increased costs as again the result of unanticipated changes in the past 22 months. Um, the first one, uh, revenue loss due to another hauler providing garbage services to Lowndes County residents under our exclusive franchise agreement. The second reason is increased yard waste disposal costs due to a change in disposal site location. We had to modify our landfill permit and accept and chip yard waste at a designated area at our landfill instead of where we were once taking it. And the third one is increased recycling processing and transportation costs due to a change in location processing. Again, we had to modify our landfill permit to accept recyclables at the landfill at a designated holding area and then we were transporting them to a materials recovery facility in Milledgeville, Georgia, for processing. And that has since changed. Now the Milledgeville facility has rejected the materials due to glass and excessive contamination levels. And we are now looking to transport the materials to another materials recovery facility. We're talking to some folks in Ocala, Orlando, and Atlanta to transport the recyclables from our landfill to those destinations. And just to give you an idea, this is not something unique to South Georgia. 
we're seeing the entire recycling, single stream recycling industry change right before our very eyes. The main reason is because of the change is because of the, uh, the mills in the United States are following China's lead by adopting more stringent contamination levels than ever before. About half of the single stream recycling market goes to China. And what's happened is, is China has said, we're going to uh, enforce and create more stringent requirements for contaminants because those are, are, are lowering the profit margins. And what's happened is the U.S. mills are just following suit. Um, in the Atlanta market, we're seeing a lot of cities and counties take out glass. because That's one of the highest contamination, contaminants in the load. And you're also seeing recycling facilities in the Atlanta market shut down and close because there are just no outlets anymore. Another reason because of increased administrative and operational costs due to an extraordinary number of residents who initially subscribed service and then later decided not to pay and we had to, of course, uh, discontinue their service. And the last one is increased operational costs due to a higher than expected number of non-subscribers to the curbside solid waste services. In other words, there are more folks than what we expected that don't have service of any kind. And to wrap things up, um, we'd like to address these unanticipated changes working with the county um, that has impacted our operating conditions under our franchise agreement. We'd like to discuss a resolution as quickly as possible and of course work together with the Lowndes County Board of Commissioners to resolve this in the best interest of the Lowndes County citizens. And just wanted to update the county, county on this and hopefully we can come to some kind of resolution shortly. Okay. Any questions for Ms. Edwards? Yes. Um, um, Steve, from what I'm gathering, a, a min means something dealing with the price. Yes, correct. So, so, so price so or, or working with the county, because I think originally we had the price point of 1280 per home. And because of these changes, we're looking for some relief because uh, it's not what it once was in 22 months ago. Things have changed significantly. And as I outlined, for those reasons, we're looking for some kind of resolution with the county to move forward because we can't move much longer where we are at the 1280 per month. Steve, I, I hear what you're saying, uh, but I, I must be honest with you. It's a lot of good people put themselves on the line for this Great. thing, and a lot of people pay a heavy price for this. Um, I still receive complaints right now about customer service. It's not necessarily an issue of, uh, of not wanting to be with advance, but you know, it's just uh, trash cans dumped over, trash on the side of the street, the whole spray. Um, and I would hope that if anything, if we were to talk about anything, it would address those customer service okay. issues, because I think that was pretty much the Achilles heel of this, this, this deal as well. Okay. I think we're working on those. I think we significantly reduced the number of complaints, but certainly, Commissioner, we could address that part of the week talk about making any kind of change. <laughs> Commissioners, if I may, of course, uh, this brings us to a point that I believe that we all would have loved to have been to uh, 18 months ago to begin to look at the issue of solid waste uh, changes in, in that process. Uh, this will now begin to give us the opportunity to, to re-look at the franchise agreement, possibly amend the agreement, possibly make changes uh, that hopefully would be to the benefit of the citizens of Lambs County. Uh, at the same time, give us an opportunity, uh, as Commissioner Marshall has said, certainly to further address customer service issues. Uh, those customer service issues could as well be from advanced disposal, but also the type of service and the opportunities that the citizens of Lambs County also has in solid water. So I'm hoping and, and praying myself that this is going to be an opportunity that we can move forward and take a relook at solid waste in Lambs County. Um, again, as I, I as in conversations with I expressed that this, uh, this will take place primarily uh, after the first year. This will be a decision then that will be with the new commissioners as they're coming on and that responsibility will fall on them to come up with a new agreement. There's no other questions for Ms. Devils. Move on. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thank you.